Welcome back to the Everything Challenge on No Man's Land. Today we are going to be focusing on the olives and the grapevine area and also the cow area. The goal is to put down a whole lot of facilities and also finally finish off our animal collection by putting down horses and pigs. We're going to be spending probably a million dollars. So I'm going to get out a huge loan and to get us there. We'll get all the way, we'll get a half a million dollar loan out. So a half a million dollar loan. I think the easiest thing to do is look at this in construction view. So let's like fly up high with that. So we are at our far end of the property. Here's the yard. Olives are here, grapes are here. So we own land up to this point. This basically is our vine area. And then out there is all of our root crop area. In here is where we have all our animals. Uh, I think the first thing to do is to put down the horses. I particularly want to use a very big mod that I've got that because it's a nice huge field. So under horses. So by default, it's quite small. And I, I want to have it so that, you know, it looks kind of like the way it really would be. Um, and so I want this much bigger mod. So roughly the same price. Uh, 14 horses down to 8. I don't plan to do many horses. This is going to be more of a, an aesthetic thing. Uh, I was thinking maybe that we could actually put it in here. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, inputs and outputs. So the, the control is over here with, where the uh, the paw print is. Uh, we have to be able to get inside. So we want easy left right access. And uh, yeah, the door is there. So I think uh, just nice and square on here. What I might do is leave a little bit of space on the right hand, oh, sorry, on the left hand side where the trees are so we can get through. Let's uh, line it up with the field. Actually, instead of uh, making space on the left, I think I might make space on the right where the, that way we can make a road. And we'll line these fences up so it kind of looks natural. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Um. Yeah, let's do a quick amount of landscaping first, just so we understand what's kind of going on here. So that will kind of be squared out and there'll be an entry point there. Uh, next thing I want to do is deal with this situation. Having this stuff on the ground doesn't really make sense. So let's try to squeeze in a shed over here. Uh, buildings, sheds. I want one that's really tiny. So like this is too big. Uh, even that's kind of big. Oh, this is more the size we need. It's got just a couple little bays, just enough for the straw for the uh, bedding and the shredder. Um, we could try putting it that way. Um, it looks like the, the overlap point's quite wide. Can we get it in here anywhere? Yeah, that kind of works. So it looks like the manure um, pit does uh, stick out a fair bit. But we can get that kind of to the back. Yeah, I think about there's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And now we need to uh, probably get the pigs in over here. Uh, two different sizes, a small one. I think I'll go for big. Um, if we reverse this around, it kind of like paddock versus paddock, and that works quite well. Uh, these trees are in the way. So let's, uh, how can I, I'm trying to uh, visit that area. I just have to walk over there. Let me walk over there. Uh, do we have any implements that are going to help us? I think the JCB is over here with the shredder head. There it is. So we'll use that to uh, help us cut down the trees and get rid of the stumps. Let's uh, jump into the JCB here. Uh, actually, we can use some, do some rare Toby Eye Tracker uh, action here. Coming down the hill. And let's go run around over here. There's a little bit of a, a dip right there. I don't know if we can uh, deal with that. It's kind of subtle, so it shouldn't matter too much. Um, I don't, I'll try the soften tool on it, but I don't want to risk uh, some uh, really bad terraforming. Uh, yeah, so let's get these two cut down. Yeah, I'm glad I put the, the, 
the shed where I did because we need space to back into here to deliver those materials. So yeah, that should be far enough away and shouldn't cause a problem. Uh, these two trees can just be cut down with the chainsaw rather than a harvester. And then we'll get the JCB to get rid of the stumps. All right, and let's uh, get those stumps ground up. Uh, so where did they go? There's one uh, right in front of me. I can see they're very hard to see. Yeah, there's one of them. So we'll turn that on and we'll do a dip without damaging the ground. And the other one is to the left here, I think. It wasn't that far away, was it? There it is. Yeah, quite hard to see. All right, that's that done. So let's uh, see if we can get those pig styes down. Construction menu, animals, pigs. Uh, the biggest one. There is this no man's land one, but it's a bit ugly. We'll go uh, nice and modern. And uh, let's line this up as far as we can to the left, I think. Uh, it gives ourselves enough space over here. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a gap, like a walking gap. So there's our pigsty. So let's uh, set this guy up. We'll buy some pigs. And then we'll see what it takes to, um, to, make, to run it and maintain it. Um, the whole point of pigs is you grow them up and then uh, slaughter them when they get big. Uh, we want ones that probably can reproduce because the number's through the roof. So let's just get a mix, I guess. We'll get uh, 60 of those and we'll get uh, 60 of those and we'll get 60 of those. And so we'll, that's 180 and then we'll let it grow up to 270. Uh, so uh, that's all our pigs, kind of cool, but we have to uh, feed them. If we look at the animal menu, we now have our pigs and they require base food, which is things like wheat and barley, uh, grains, or base food might be, sorry, might be the more the sorghums and stuff. Uh, root crops is potatoes, uh, protein maybe is soybeans, something, whatever. You need a, a very complex mix of this. I don't want to be spending that much time uh, working out the perfect balance. Much like the cow shed has the TMR mixer where I can just dump them in a silo in front and the robot does all the hard work, I want to do the same thing with the pigs. And to that extent, I got a mod to help with that. There's nothing in the base game that lets you uh, do this. What it does is you put in the ingredients and it outputs the uh, the pig food. You can buy pig food just as pure um, bags in the shop, um, but uh, this is what I want to use. Uh, it comes with two variants, one's for cows, because uh, we have the uh, automated one, we don't really need the cow one, and one for pigs. So this is going to take in wheat, canola, potato, and corn. We don't have canola right now, actually we've never planted canola, and uh, we don't have any corn, but we do have a crop uh, way, way up there. So that will be there in the future. But for now, uh, let's put this down. I think, uh, so the food area is at this end. And is this slurry this end? Yeah, it's slurry. So let's put it down this end. Uh, my plan is to put a road through here, I think, uh, just on the side of the field. This field actually may survive, which is kind of cool. It'd be nice to have a field near home. Um, if I put it here, where's the, how's the trigger work? Yeah, so there's, uh, yeah, you can dump, you dump it in here and take it out. So yeah, let's, let's reorientate it that way. And yeah, that worked quite well. And what are we missing? So yeah, I think now we're up to the point of beautification. So uh, let me get some, should we do dirt here? Yeah, I think, I think dirt's probably what we want, particularly for this, this track through here. 
And so let me uh, carefully draw a row through here as straight as I can. And we'll go this way as well. And then do we want to formalize some of this? So, like we've been using gravel over here. Uh, is this dirt here? It is dirt. This is quite a dirty thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think I think for this end we'll use dirt. We'll see how it looks. Looks like the our production doesn't allow that. So is that asphalt? It is. So let's let's make this a little bit more formal around here. And I think that should do. We'll let the dirt fade off a bit. Just gonna zoom in and just do a little bit of a dirt action as it fades off. And uh, that looks good to me. And uh, since we are gonna be driving through here, we'll do some dirt here. Uh, get rid of that grass. Cool. Um, I think I want to make, kind of like protect this. So I think I might actually do some fencing. Um, what's this fence look like? Yeah, it's quite simple and good. Uh, actually, we probably maybe match this. Maybe make a simulation that the pigs can sometimes come out this side. Do we have the wire fence available? Um, this is a much more steel fence. It's kind of good for cattle. Yeah, wire fence. Um, I'm trying to find one that's the same as the, the pigsty is using. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, which one do we want? There's lots to choose from, isn't there? So I think one of the ones near the front was better. We'll go for a wood lot type of look. I think uh, we don't need... We can put a gate in here. So that's a big gate. So let's put a gate... Uh, in there and then we'll put another one at the other end uh, and we can turn it around and then we'll uh, put in is it this fence no that's the gate, this one put in this fence yeah that was good and uh, let's do the same thing over here. So let's finish off the horse area. So we'll get the road to come through. We'll get our dirt road. Get it the same size. So we don't, we need, uh, there is delivery access. So we need a, I don't think it's actually uh, a material. I'm not sure what, actually, I don't know what horses take as food. So before we go too far, we should probably work that out. Let's just dirtify all this. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, planting uh, around here. Just to make it look a little bit overgrown. And what else can we do? Uh, I think another uh, fence out here would be kind of cool as well. Uh, the much more horse style. So let's uh, put a gate, we'll put the gate out here on the road. We'll go outwards onto the road. And then let's uh, square this out. And uh, we'll go from there to there and then into there. I think uh, what I might do is get rid of uh, that little bush. And uh, we can actually put a little bit of gravel outside that door. And I think a couple of trees might be nice in there. So this one's this one, right? So let's do one there, one there, and then halve it maybe. Yeah, so there and there. That's cool. And um, yeah, that works. And so yeah, I think dirt's kind of okay for for now. Let's uh fix this end where the slurry pit is. 
So paintings, dirt. There is a lot of dirt around here. It's actually tempting to upgrade it to uh, gravel. Um, hey, we also need some dirt over here in front of our new storage shed. And I think I might square that out so it's kind of like a... Um, and we'll, we kind of need to drive through there, I think. So let's make that kind of like an angle. Yeah, nice. Uh, maybe we can get a couple more of those conifers in there. Uh, trees. Is that a conifer? No, a poplar. So... Say so one there and one there. And we'll shove one there as well. Actually, that one's in front of the gate. We don't want that. Uh, in fact, that gate probably we don't need both ends. So let's get rid of that. And... Just put... Yeah, that there like that. And what else do we need to do? So, um, yeah, so let's, let's probably make this... Uh, area a bit more consistent. Um, I think I would. I would just maybe. I know I turned it into gravel for the the guy, but I think I might turn it into asphalt because the inside of that is asphalt. So uh, let's. See if I can get this done. It's been. It's kind of fighting me. Because I want a really good surface for the uh, robot to walk on. And gravel would probably uh, uh, jam up the motors. We can leave it dirt behind there. So let's make that all official. Up to there. I want to square this out. Probably at some point we'll... Yeah, well, actually right now I'm going to also do this. Just so that we have a really solid base for backing the uh, the truck up, because we want those uh, trailers not to get stuck in mud as they're hauling these heavy loads. And we'll leave a little dirt boundary over there. Um, I might make this a little bit wider. I want to go out to here. Yeah, I'll go out to here. Yeah, that works quite well. And we'll give us a little bit more space to do a U-turn over here. Just spill there with the dirt. We'll fix that. All right. Now, talking of dirt, we want to have a path that goes this way. Probably not as wide as we had it. And let's now do something about the grapes. I think this area here would be good for a yard. Um, let's find a production for that. One of the goals for the series, and I can uh, show you in the menu, is I want this to show as numbers. And so if I put down the production that's associated with grapes, um, that's not actually really going to help us. So the production for grapes is, let me find it. Here it is, the grape processing unit. So if we put this down and put material into it, those numbers will not show, much like uh, when we're talking about, like, for example, uh, the soup factory, we don't see the numbers. We only see it because of the silo. And so I want to put down something that is a grape silo. I think what I'm going to do with this production is not actually put it over here. I think I'm going to leave this as just a collection remote area, treat it like a remote farm. And then the actual grape processing facility, I think I'll put it in town along this road where everything else is going to go. So what I need actually is a silo. So under silos, I found a, a mod that is both a uh, silo and a beautiful looking little shed. And so where is it? Here it is, $40,000. Uh, we get a nice shed out of it. So somewhere to put our equipment and we can both deposit and pick up our grapes and olives from it. I think I'm just going to put that, I mean, I'm, I'm avoiding the right-hand side because there's a slope, so I'll put it probably to the left as much as I can. Let's uh, line it up with the cows, and I think we can put it relatively close to the corner. Um, keep it a little bit away from the cows. And I think there's pretty good. 
Uh, it does have an asphalt based um, thing, so it is tempting to maybe expand that out. I'll make, I think what I'll do is I'll make the asphalt a little bit bigger, but then we'll use a dirt road to get to it. Because uh, grapes is one of those things that it's kind of like a very clean um, type of food. And so you want to come in like something that looks a little bit hygienic. Let's go a little bit further with dirt and I'll get rid of that um, that tree. And so we'll fade that off to dirt. Uh, that's pretty good. I actually might leave those pieces of grass, grass tufts sticking around. We'll increase this. And uh, yeah, I think we can feather up to this. And we'll go. Yeah, I think that works quite well. Uh, we don't really need to connect to the field. And uh, I think I might just follow this path around. So it's like a road. And we'll change to the circle one. And fade that out and uh, finish it off by a little careful square brush all right and I think I might put some dirt around uh, this bit and we'll grassify that just to, to fade it off there's a little trick you can you put down uh, dirt underneath and then put grass on top of it and the grass will grow and it looks quite natural. Uh, let's go uh, put some more trees down as well. I like these conifers, they look kind of cool. So let's, um, I think a row of them back here would be kind of good. Let's put one on either end and uh, yeah, I think we divide it into, yeah, we won't have too many. I think that looks pretty good. And this actually probably is another good spot for a fence if we were going to do it. Um, I will put down a light. Normally I do this at night, but I'll put down a, a light that gives us... Um, actually, I'll do this at night because I can't really see what I'm doing. But yeah, that looks cool. Uh, I think I might soften this edge out a bit. Just so it's uh, not so stark. Yeah, that works quite well. Curve that out. Yeah, cool. And so, yeah, easy access up there. Go around the corner. Uh, I don't think we can smooth that edge out because I think it's the uh, cow farm itself is causing that problem. But um, yeah, uh, I might put uh, grass back here because I put the olives down then removed them. It caused the... Uh, the grass to be removed so I think I will put these back and then what will happen is when we mulch it each year which is like mowing the grass it'll, it'll get uh, returned to its proper length I think this one uh, I'm not sure that's grass but it can be mulched too awesome so yeah so Let's grab our equipment and go park it. Actually, let's go have a little walk around. We've got our pigs. We need to give this some food. Uh, here's our new mixer. So pig food, uh, potatoes, corn, wheat, and canola. Uh, we have some of those. So let's go pick those up. And yeah, let's do that first. And yeah, then we can have a bit more of a tour around the base. Uh, I've got my uh, handy New Holland sitting here. I'll uh, take both trailers. That way we can put uh, one, uh, we can put potatoes in one and uh, canola in the other. Not canola, what was it? Uh, wheat. We can put wheat in the other. I will probably fill them up to the brim. I have no idea what the capacity is for uh, each, but uh, we can always return it back into the silo we get it from. Uh, so we will get our wheat 
And while that's filling, we will confirm that we now have grapes and olives as numbers. Uh, awesome. So great to see all of that. Still need to work out uh, whatever technology there is to cause these other ones to pop. Things like uh, seeds and stuff, we probably won't end up getting. But uh, yeah, good to see two more on the list. And in a way that's not inappropriate, right? It's kind of true to the to the ethos of the game. 22,000, I'm sure it's gonna be way too much, but uh, we'll dump it off anyway. We've got tons of honey. Uh, I want, we need to do something about that. There is another mod I've got installed that makes it a production, uh, which means it won't make it a stat, but it does give us the ability just to uh, put it in a warehouse type thing and make it a little bit more neat and tidy rather than it just sitting on the ground, which kind of looks a bit ugly. So let's get some uh, potatoes. I'm pretty sure we have a lot left. So we have 84,000 red beets around, 81,000 potatoes, parsnips is hardly any, sugar beets we'll get this year carrots 34 so yeah for the premium stuff uh not too much and we've gone through a lot of the potatoes uh looking forward to another season because uh brings in 300,000 and we'll be able to afford putting down uh the potato crisp factory and share the potatoes between the soup factory here on the right and that Last thing to do after we uh, put some of this food in. This won't get the pig started because we're still missing corn and uh, what was the other thing? Uh, uh, canola. Uh, we probably could buy them from the shop. Uh, we'll get an idea of how much this takes. This thing's tiny, so I highly doubt that we'll need uh, anywhere close to what we've got. Uh, actually, let me disconnect the back one and then we'll back this into our new uh, mixer. I don't want to put it into the pigsty, I want to put it into the mixer. Careful there. And we'll unload that. And how much is it going to take? Uh, it looks like it's a mod that is a little bit OP, it's a bit big. That's fine. It will, um, it will give us the ability to uh, I like set and forget so that production yeah it took oh this thing can take a huge amount so we'll, we'll keep it realistic oh well not too much we'll just do twenty two thousand um of that the ratio matters too so it wants a lot more say for example potatoes than it does it wants uh wheat drive over the knuckle there Yeah, I don't think uh, it's going to be too intrusive on the on the field. I think we'll be able to uh, operate this without causing any crop destruction. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we actually got to keep this field. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it was the OG field. It's the very first field. So yeah, it would be kind of sad if we actually lost it. Pouring into there. There's a drawer in. So it's just a big, huge pile of stuff in the in the tub. And that's done. We'll uh, put these back later and let's have a little walk around. So we'll have to go up to the shop and get the other two things, which is uh, corn and canola, and then we can feed the pigs. Horses, um, I've never done horses before. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna start that right now. Is that gonna open? Yep. And uh, horse stalls, this one holds eight and it wants oh, it wants straw so that's something we can do and it's going to need uh some type of food which i don't know what it is i think there's horse feed actually i do know what i'm going to do for that i got a mod for this to help us out under silos i got these silo mods and it just lets you put uh, material in a bunker nearby. Uh, for horses, I don't think we're going to be mixing food. I think we're just going to use horse food. And so I think I might put this silo uh, somewhere um, 
kind of similar to the way this one's done. Uh, I might put it over here. Like, I think we can probably put it in a little bit. And I don't think that's going to detract. And we'll just do a quick bit of dirt around here because I think that's a little bit more appropriate. And we'll fade that off. Actually, we probably can make the road. Ah, oh, that's fine. That works well. We'll uh, corner this and definitely corner this. Um, and we'll have to do the lighting sometime later. Uh, trees, is there anything that's kind of like different? Yeah, I think I might put a nice big tree in here. What other big trees do we have? I have this big weeping one. This how, let's put that in there as well as a feature piece. We'll get some nice colors. And talking of that, we can do the same thing probably over here. Let's put in maybe some nice little birches. There. Cool. And um, yeah, let's continue our tour. So we need to put straw in there. Oh, actually, and we need to put these away. So let's, um, we'll do that next episode. We'll get out the forklift and move them over there. But yeah, we now have a shed for, for the straw for the manure. That needs to get shredded and put into the cow pens. Looks like they are actually empty or very, very low. And uh, we have our new grape area and we'll finish it off, I think, by just parking the uh, the grape stuff in this new shed. So yeah, it looks quite nice. Nice model. Uh, I like the icons to kind of remind you of what it's all about. Let's uh, quickly finish this episode by moving this stuff back over there. call that an episode don't forget to uh, like subscribe and comment love to hear uh, your feedback on definitely how this turned out it's great that we've got so much of our animal stuff done we still have to do chickens and obviously we also have to do all that straw delivery and stuff but that will be next time thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on the no man's land everything challenge